Welcome to 28storms.com. This is your tropical weather update for Monday, September 5th. First, turning to the eastern U.S. enhanced infrared, we see that the remnants of Tropical Storm Lee are still wreaking havoc across much of the southeast United States, and this will soon extend into the mid-Atlantic and northeast. Down toward the south here in Alabama and Georgia, we still have the risk of severe weather. The latest Day 1 Storm Prediction Center outlook has much of eastern Alabama and western Georgia in a moderate risk. There are still several tornado watches up for much of the southeast. In fact, several areas around the Atlanta metro are currently under tornado warnings at this hour. And not only do we have the risk of tornadoes, but we also see that there are flood watches extending from southern Mississippi all the way as far north as Maine. And the three-day HPC precipitation forecast is calling for in upwards of about 10 to 11 inches, especially over southern Pennsylvania. On the other hand, in the backside of Lee, we have a lot of strong winds and dry air being funneled into Oklahoma and Texas, so therefore we have a very high risk of brush fires and wildfires across the state today, and in fact, the most notable one is located in Bastrop, Texas, where it sounds like some significant damage has been done, and we can even make out where that fire is occurring on the most recent visible satellite animation. On the latest water vapor, we can see the same trough that is interacting with the remnants of Tropical Storm Lee, and there is all of that dry air beginning to be funneled into the Longhorn State, which is causing the critical fire weather situation there. But the good news is that this significant trough is going to be the same steering mechanism that is going to eventually recurve Hurricane Katia safely between Bermuda and the U.S. East Coast. The main threat will be the risk of rip currents for swimmers. As of the latest 5 p.m. official advisory from the National Hurricane Center, Katia is now a Category 3, 115 mile per hour sustained wind hurricane. That makes it the second major hurricane of the 2011 hurricane season. And as you can see, the track once again takes it between Bermuda and the Outer Banks of North Carolina. And the models are now beginning to switch more toward the east in the four to five day range, which should make this pass a little bit more to the east of Cape Cod, which is certainly good news. On a more regional view of the Atlantic Basin, once again we can see the remnants of Tropical Storm Lee passing just to the west and north of Mobile, Alabama, where the causeway had to be shut down a few hours ago due to some minor storm surge. And here in the central Atlantic to the south of Bermuda, we see that Hurricane Katia has become much more impressive with a well-defined eye beginning to develop over the last 24 hours. But more importantly here, we have Invest 95L beginning to develop to the southwest of the Cape Verde Islands. The National Hurricane Center is giving this feature a 60% chance of becoming the next tropical depression or named storm within the next 48 hours. If we switch back to the water vapor image, we can see that there is quite a lot of southwest wind shear located just to the north and west of 95L Invest, and that will have to be something to be monitored. However, if the tropical disturbance remains just to the south, it looks like upper-level conditions will be favorable for some slow intensification over the coming days. Therefore, interest in the eastern Caribbean should begin to at least start monitoring this system over the beginning of the new work week. We are also going to have to continue watching the Gulf of Mexico over the next five to seven days. Here is the remnant swirl of Tropical Storm Lee, but that trough that is also marching toward the east is going to stall out over much of the central and western Gulf of Mexico. And as long as that trough is located down there over the open waters, this will be an area to watch for at least slow development as that convection persists down there, even as far south as the Bay of Campeche. And some of the models are trying to develop a weak surface low pressure area down there and that is one of the things that we will take a close look at once we begin looking over the 12Z model guidance. On the latest low level vorticity analysis we can also make out the trough extending well into the southwest Gulf and Bay of Campeche. Hurricane Katia is steadily becoming more impressive and there's nothing overly organized just yet out here in the eastern Atlantic but that is more than likely going to change over the coming days. If you go ahead and take a quick look at the latest shear analysis we see that there are 30 to 40 knots of wind shear to the south of the Louisiana coast, but right ahead of that trough, we do have a very small pocket of favorable upper-level winds. And if we turn on the latest color analysis, you can see this a little bit better. Obviously, conditions are going to have to become a little bit more favorable over the central gulf if we are going to see another tropical cyclone develop there. And, of course, the upper-level conditions are prime for Hurricane Katia to continue strengthening a little bit. And here's that southwest shear 
as mentioned before on the water vapor image over the south central Atlantic and that will be something that's going to greatly dictate the intensity forecast for 95L. Starting off with the 12Z CMC model forecast, we can see Tropical Storm Lee ejecting off toward the northeast. Hurricane Katia is moving between the eastern United States and the island of Bermuda. But also notice by day 6, we have Invest 95L trying to develop into a weak tropical cyclone while clipping the northeast Caribbean. And if I loop this one more time, notice that the stalled trough persists here over the south central Gulf of Mexico and toward day six we still have an area of broad low pressure here located just to the north of the Yucatan Peninsula. Switching over to the latest 12Z GFS we see the same occurring with Tropical Storm Lee and Katia moving just to the east of the mid-Atlantic states and once again by days six and seven we still have the stalled out trough over the southwest Gulf. This is a developing area of broad low pressure that we will have to keep a very close watch on and this is where 95L is projected to be in day 7, located just to the east of the Bahamas. The latest 12Z ECMWF run is very similar to that of the other model guidance. This is the remnants of Tropical Storm Lee while embedded within a frontal boundary. As we go into 24, 48, and 72 hours, notice that Lee is expected to slowly diminish here over the Tennessee and Ohio valleys. Hurricane Katia is still passing to the east of the Carolinas and we still have that broad area of low pressure across much of the central and southern Gulf of Mexico. And the one difference between the CMC GFS and the European run is that it's keeping 95L a little bit weaker in the short term which may be slightly inaccurate and it keeps it a little bit more toward the south as a result of that. And then as we go into day 4 and day 5 the European is taking this more so into the Eastern Caribbean versus lifting it more toward the north above San Juan, Puerto Rico. And it's a little bit stronger with the developing low pressure area just to the northwest of the Yucatan. And in fact, by day six, it's trying to develop that into our next tropical cyclone. And by day seven, we finish off with the position of the Central Gulf Low located still in the Central Gulf and it's basically nearly stationary while 95L continues to move off toward the west-northwest and is expected to be over Hispaniola. So there is a lot going on in the weather world this afternoon and it looks like the tropics are going to remain active for the next week which is to be expected because we are still about a week away from the climatological peak of the hurricane season so we still have quite a ways to go before we can get too comfortable with the tropics slowing down. So that sums up your tropical weather update here at 28storms.com for this afternoon. Please check back again tomorrow for another extensive video analysis.